different to the channel, bringing something of a little bit of spice and flavor. So I just started this juicing detox cleanse thing a week ago and I actually enjoyed it. So I was like, why not share it with persons who may be interested? Because I was looking online and couldn't find things that I liked or, you know, something that intrigued me per se. So I googled some juices and then I was like, okay, let me just create something that I might like, you know? What works for me may not work for you. So I created a few juice recipes that I wanted to share with you guys and I hope you enjoy. Um, so yes, here we go. I know a lot of people don't like talking, a lot of talking at the beginning, beginning of videos. So without further ado, here are the juices. and vegetables here that I have kind of learned to love for this juice so I have the beets they're peeled rinsed I have granny smith apples they are rinsed but not peeled as well as the carrots that are rinsed but not peeled as well um, just because you don't want to strip away the nutrients and then I have one lemon that I cut in half it is peeled and rinsed as well as a ginger that is also peeled in. Let's start juicing. So this, my Pyrex measuring cup did not come with the juicer. It's just kind of easier because um, they gave us a little small pitcher that it's kind of tiny and you always have to fill, pour out, fill, pour out. So it's just a lot of work. Okay, so there's actually no strategic way that I juice these I kind of mix it up so like if I grab apples I'll put the apples in and then I see the lemon I put the lemon in and then continue putting apples in so it actually depends on you as a person if you want to do each fruit all separately that is fine and I tend to like if it's a hard vegetable or fruit like the carrots I would probably put them in between a soft fruit so it kind of extracts easier so yeah guys so we will see. My juicer actually has two powers, one and two. One is kind of slow and two is more powerful. I interchange them both. So let's go. So I have the ginger. I'm gonna put the I'll put the lemon in first. And yes, as you can see, it gets a little messy, but that's okay. So I literally have two carrots and one beet left. So let's just put this baby on high power and vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Oh, it's really, really spicy. That's the ginger. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have my mason jars here where I'm just going to pour this in. And there you go. So you have one. This is one. Oops. Let's just do it. So this is one beet juice here. Completed. Perfect. This one actually has a lot more fruits in it um, and a bit more veggies. So 
pear, we have cucumbers, and Granny Smith apples. So this is about, I think, one and a half cucumbers. And then this is about, this one's probably about one Granny Smith apple. Then secondly, we have, I'm putting a little bit of pineapple. This recipe does not call for pineapple, but I just want more sweetness to it, like a hint of sweetness, because it's going to be a little tart as well because there's ginger as well as lemon. The ginger, lemons, and pineapple are peeled and rinsed. And then we have here, we have celery stalk, um, about one to two celery stalks, as well as spinach, kale, and there's a sprig of mint as well in here. I don't know where it is, but we'll see where it is. Okay, so let's turn this baby on. Like I said, I do this very unruly. So I just like pick and choose and put them in. So. So I'm just going to replace it very quickly. This is going to be easier. King Dimes. Improvising here. And that's okay. Maybe a little tacky ghetto, but that's okay. It's going to be juicy. <laughs> Much more better, much more better, much better. Okay, so that's it for the green juice. Um, I'm losing everything here. Oh, this one's gonna be harder to put in here. So you might, you might make a big mess here. Okay, so we're have it this is the green juice here it's really good okay so that's it for the green goddess detox juice it's good now you can put whatever you want in it this is just what i like personally so you can add whatever fruits you want for a bit of sweetness a little bit of turmeric if you don't like ginger if you want a bit more kick so this is what i do everyone's different so the last one we're going to do is the carrot and orange fruit plosion so i'm going to get those ingredients for you guys okay cats and dolls everyone's been waiting on this one i'm sure so this one is the fruit plosion carrot fruit, fruit plosion it's a little tongue twister there so this one has more fruits than probably the previous ones that i showed you guys so here we have oranges, peeled, rinsed, as well as ginger, common denominator in all the juices that I've made is ginger. I like a little spice to it. Then we also have pineapples, oranges, Granny Smith apples. I don't even remember what else I put in here. Oh, and oh, carrots, of course, because we have carrots for this. So carrots ginger lemon granny smith apples pineapples oranges for this one so this one is a really fruity sweet one um i like it because it's more natural and it's better than the you know the orange carrot juices that are in the store because i'm actually making it so we're going to do this one i'm just going to use the glass bowl instead of the pyrex uh, measuring cup because it's going to be a little bit more and here we go. So I'm going to turn the bad boy on again. Missing something. Got it. I'm going to turn it on again. Stir it. 
Let's see how this one tastes. Oh, this is so good. Chicken. Oh, I'm clumsy, everyone, if you didn't know that. I'm very, very clumsy. So this one is the fruit plosion, carrot fruit plosion. Call it whatever you guys want, carrot orange juice. That's the actual name. Hey guys, so we have completed the juicing recipes. Um, I hope everyone likes them. Like I said, this is what works for me. This is what I like. So if there's any adjustments you want to make, any additions, you know, you can go on. It's good. So I will leave the recipes down below for anyone who's interested. And guys, yeah, so enjoy your juices. You know, if you want to eat clean, just want to have a, you know, like a little detox day when you feel like, you know, you're going to get all the toxins out. These are good. And they're also, I feel like usually I would drink the green one in the morning and I'm actually full until about like early afternoon. So they're actually filling as well. Some persons use them as meal places. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh okay guys, sorry. I was just rudely interrupted. <laughs> just kidding. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, to each his own. Um, enjoy and if you want to see more of this kind of thing let me know leave a comment in the description in the description box in the comment box all right everyone peace safe enjoy and 